What's the creepiest thing you have experienced but nobody believes you when you tell them? That when I was nine tenths I dreamed that I woke up. Then I woke up. Then I woke up again and after getting out of the room I woke up again. Again and again for more ten times. It was like a loop of waking up. When I was around thirteen, I would sneak out in the middle of the night and take my mom's car and drive around. One night, as I was driving down a dark street, the car came to a sudden stop. It stopped so fast it threw my entire body forward. When I sat back up, the car was running and my foot was not on the brake. The car was not budging. I looked out the windshield and couldn't see anything. It was completely black. As I was trying to figure out what was going on, I started seeing intermittent lights as my eyes adjusted. I realized what I was seeing was a train flying by inches from the bumper of the car. I have no explanation and by all rights should have died that night. What do you believe is the greatest threat to the United States? Declining literacy, increasing willful ignorance, internal conflict. As Abraham Lincoln said on the internet, America will never be destroyed from the outside. If we lose out freedoms it will be because we have destroyed ourselves from within. It's the increasing allowance of anti-intellectualism. The idea that any opinion is a valid one due to the freedom of speech. The constant lowering of educational standards. Lack of critical thinking skills. We will live together as brothers or die together as fools. MLK. Lobbying. Continuing a trend of our country evolving to benefit the rich instead of the majority of people. What's a red flag about yourself? I'm codependent and try way too hard to people please in a relationship. Self-isolation. I hate myself. So what the fuck is wrong with you if you like me at all? Well, it's nearly impossible for me to stop drinking after about three to four drinks. Then I black out and make awful decisions and ruin relationships. I've had two drinks in the past 73 days and no blackouts. I have a low tolerance for most people, and it's getting worse all the time. I'm a procrastinator, but I'm planning on doing something about it real soon. I overshare, a lot. Who died as a hero but later on was found out to be a major jerk. President Warren Harding was massively popular in his life, with huge national turnout for his funeral train after dying in office. Then a bunch of scandals came to light shortly afterwards and he got quietly erased from the national consciousness. TBHI looked up to Gandhi in the textbooks but then I learned the man undressed his own nieces and put them in front of him to apparently practice not getting lust. Many believed that Mr. Rogers was a decent person, but after his passing many affirmed that he was an even better person. Jimmy Seville Bob Marley, he had 11 kids with 8 different women, and didn't raise any of them, not even the 4 he had with his wife, whom he abused. People who are street smart, what is your best street smart tip? Don't break two laws at once. Carrying something you shouldn't be carrying? Don't be stupid and jaywalk. Something in the car that shouldn't be there? Don't run a stop sign. ETA. Well this blew up a lot more than expected. Shout out to my cousin, Rip, who taught me this 20-ish years ago as I was with him delivering some weed. No earphones after dark. Use reflections and shadows to keep an eye on whether anyone is close to you. Be friendly if approached, but don't for a second trust anyone you don't know. Look with your eyes, not your head. Also, pay attention to reflections in windows. Gives you a good idea of who, what is behind you without having to turn around. 